Yo, what is happening? My name is Afton, and welcome back to a brand new video. And today, Defaultio has just released two new items to Lumber Tycoon 2. So definitely make sure that you're getting on Lumber Tycoon because this is super big. You're gonna wanna get these items. I'm gonna be showing you what they are. So the first one, you're just gonna wanna come back here into What Are Us, and you can see that there is a brand new gift right here. It is called the Silly Gift of Six Sides, and it is very cheap. It is 210 lumber bucks. So definitely make sure that you stock up on it it's going to definitely go way up in price because it is so cheap usually if gifts are really expensive they won't go up in price because they will get duped but if they are really cheap that just means that they are going to retain some of their value and go way up in price so definitely make sure that you have a bunch of these on your base. You're going to want to get as many as possible just so that you can sell them after they go off sale, which is going to be on the 25th, which is also when you're going to be able to open this. Right now, you're not able to open these gifts, as you can see. You're going to have to wait until Christmas before you can do that. But anyways, as I was saying, on the 25th of December, these are going to go off sale. So about a month or two after these go off sale, they are going to go way up in price because no one's going to have them and they are going to be limited, which means no one will be able to buy them from the stores because as I said, they are going off sale probably about the 25th of December. So yeah, make sure that you have a lot of these, get as many as you can just so that you can resell them. And also, since you won't be able to get them, you also just want to have them on your base just in case it turns out to be super useful for something. Right now is the cheapest you'll ever be able to buy these. Anyways, for the next gift, you're going to want to get onto the ferry back here. It might not be there at the time that you go. You just have to wait for it to arrive if that's the case. But anyways, you want to just go up to Hoover and buy a ticket. If you have the Game Pass, then you don't have to do that. But if you don't, then you want to buy a ticket. It's going to cost you 400 lumber bucks. And you can also ask Hoover when he next runs, and that will be when he departs. So yeah, he's going to depart in 16 seconds, so I better make sure that I'm in my truck when that happens so that I don't accidentally fall off of the ferry. Anyways, we just have to wait for him to depart, and then once that happens, you just have to wait about two minutes before he gets to the other side. Looks like we are now going, so I'm just going to speed up the footage so that you guys don't have to fit, sit through the entire trip. Alrighty guys, we have made it to the other side, so now what you want to do is you want to flip around your truck like so, and then you want to start making your way over to the cave over here. This is what is known as the maze, and this is what you're going to have to go through. It's a little bit complicated. I'm going to show you exactly how to get to the shop, so it's okay. Don't worry. If you just follow what I do, you probably won't get lost, hopefully. And just go left through this passageway right here and then once you get to this spot you just want to wrap around the rock on the left and you should find yourself in this little corridor and now you're just going to want to go in the middle passage twice so see there's one passage two passage and then there's the third one that's the middle one you just want to go in it and then the next one it should be pretty easy to tell which one's the shop also make sure that your headlights are on, just press L if you're on computer and there should just be a prompt if you are on any other device. Anyways, once you get to the shop, you should see an absolute army of the brand new gift. There's, they're just sprinkled all around the floor, so it should be pretty easy to stock up on these. Now these gifts were made by a user named Ender, Enderveen. You may know him, he has made a few items in the past, but anyways, um, something kind of interesting about the gift is that I actually 
retextured it, and actually I also remodeled it. If you go into the check menu, you can actually see the old texture of the gift, and you can kind of see that the ribbon is very stretched out. I fixed that, and there was also no nothing on the top. I kind of added a little bit of a pixel art on the top since it's kind of supposed to be pixel themed, considering the name is the gift of pixelation. So yeah, I added some pixel art to the top and the bottom, whereas previously that was not the case. And also the texture was very low quality originally. I think it was like downscaled to 2 240 or something, 240p. Um, I, I doubled that, which was a lot better. But yeah, anyways, this gift is very good. Make sure you get as many as possible because they are very cheap. They are very, very cheap. They are 1,200, so that is very, very cheap. You want to get as many as possible because that the fact that they're so cheap means that you're definitely going to be able to make a profit on them. And something else that I've kind of noticed with paintings is that they usually go way up in price like way way more than usual gifts so if you want to get a massive profit definitely stock up on these ones these ones will go way up in price about two months after the 25th of December so yeah make sure you get these again this is the cheapest you'll ever be able to find these so make sure you have a lot so yeah, uh, as I was saying, it's probably going to be a painting gift considering this is the fine arts shop. Now, I don't exactly know if it's going to be a painting. We could actually get like something that's that's like 8-bit or something because keep in mind we have gotten things that aren't paintings in the past from the fine arts shop like the cube of ice. We, we got that and also the, the Sparkle Time Turkey. Uh, oh yeah, and the Cornucopia. We've gotten things that aren't necessarily really paintings in the fine arts shop before. So that kind of, that, that could mean that it's not actually a painting. Either way, a lot of these gifts that you do get from fine arts do actually end up going way up in price. So make sure that you get them. Anyways, I'm going to quickly show you how to get out of the fine arts shop real quick because we got to get back up to the surface before the fairy departs because we don't want to have to wait for him to get all the way back here so you're just going to want to go straight just kind of follow the natural direction that the maze takes you until you get to a spot where you have a very sharp turn because that's where you're just going to want to go right and wrap around the rock like I'm doing like so and then you should pretty easily find the ramp and that is the exit ramp just go right up it and it will take you straight out of the maze and hopefully we are not too late cuz I feel like the ferry might be departing around about now so we gotta go as fast as possible up this ramp and oh no yeah yeah he's totally <laughs> he's, he's departed by now yeah so that means that I'm gonna have to wait about 12 to 14 minutes before we're able to be at the other side um, It'll take a little bit less time for him to get back here But we're gonna have to wait about 12 to 13 minutes before we can actually be back at the mainland So yeah, while I'm waiting, I'm just going to w edit what I have and I'll get back to you Okay, finally the uh, fairy is back. I don't know what's going on with the textures It's just kind of part of the ship just kind of stayed on that side yeah there's you can see that there's kind of like an outline of a ship over there I guess this <laughs> this ship just this is this is what you can actually interact with I don't think you could actually I think that's just fake it's like a ghost <laughs> I, I I don't know just like part of the ship just did not come along with but let's go ahead and talk with Hoover luckily Hoover has come over here so we can talk to him so let's go ahead and Ask when does he next run? 15 seconds. All right. Well, let's just go ahead and get into our truck and wait for him to depart. So yeah, what do you guys think is going to be in this gift of pixelation? If it is a painting, it will probably be super helpful for building. So make sure you have those as well because, I mean, paint, the back of paintings are really great for building a lot of the time. Like the gloomy seascape painting, that one is super nice for building roads, and a few of the other ones you just can't get that color, so hopefully we'll get a new color on the back of a painting, if this is a painting of course, it could just be something like a sculpture that's pixelated 3D 
pixelated sculpture. I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments what you think this is going to be. But anyways, I'm just going to speed up the footage so that you guys don't have to wait for Hoover to get all the way back to the other side. Alrighty guys, we are over to the other side, so now what we can do is go ahead and move over to our base, get our all of these items back to our base so that they save. So let's add these some of these to our collection so that we can see what we've gotten this year. So let's put one of those right there and one right here. This is what we have so far in this year. We have the wobbly gift, the uh, green gift of golly goodness. The gift of important game knowledge, and I can't check these because for whatever reason, after you buy a gift, you can't check them until you reload or something. It's kind of weird, but I can remember this is the silly gift of six sides. Six sides, I mean, I, I think it's pretty obvious what's going to be in here. Let me know in the comments what you guys think is going to be in this gift. Anyways, we also have the gift of pixelation. Really cool that we got a couple of new gifts today. So yeah, well, these are the new gifts. This one is actually not a retexture, I don't think. I mean, obviously this looks a lot like some of the gifts that we've gotten in the past, but what I'm saying is what is it, what's going to be inside of it? I don't think it's going to be a retexture just based on how abnormal it is. I mean, we haven't really gotten a gift kind of like this for a while, so hopefully this will be a brand new gift. The other gifts like this one, the the wobbly gift, that one's a retexture. This one is probably a retexture, and then this one, the knowledge one, is probably gonna be a book. So yeah, we've we've we kind of know what's going to be in these three. This one will probably be a painting, but we don't know what it's gonna be about. And this one, I don't know. This one, I'm crossing my fingers, is going to be a sculpture because that would be really cool for building. Now a quick reminder that we still haven't gotten everything for this year, I don't think, because we still have a few annual gifts that we still haven't gotten, like the bowling gift, uh, candy cane gift that we usually get, and also probably a numbered ball. That would also be pretty cool. Uh, I mean, we, we've never gone a year without a numbered ball, so I'm going to assume we're going to get one this year. Same case with bowling. So far, every year we've gotten a new bowling set, so hopefully we'll get a new one in in this year but we've only gotten two so far so I don't know and then there's also the candy canes I think we have three in the game as of right now maybe four I don't know but yeah hopefully we'll get another one this year hopefully we'll get those relatively soon so make sure that you are subscribed so that you don't miss that once that comes out I will make sure to get a video out of about it as soon as possible but yeah with that said thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next video once it's out see ya